12 months ago, I stood in my living room and told you all that I wanted to be more visionary. Vision. And I'm always working on some, doing some. I'm always busy with something. But why? What is it doing? And what am I working towards? That's where I'm at for 2016. I'm going to be more visionary. Vision. Instead of here trying to do all the little things that make me feel like I'm an adult, make me feel like I'm doing grown-up life correctly, instead of busying myself with those things, I'm going to think bigger, bigger, bigger. Bigger. About four months later, this happened. Beyonce. Listen, me and my girls are gonna book a retreat right now in the Texas Hill Country. We're gonna wear our hair product free. If you got baby hairs, wear that. We are going to be dressed in the latest doily fashions. And you can stay mad. And you can stay mad. And you can stay mad. What can I say? Huh? Is that the manifest? Okay. Hey, YouTube world. It's me, Evelyn. Happy New Year. I know. 2016 is, is over and done with, and we off that now. But you know, just oblige me, okay? A sister gotta reflect, all right, on the public forum. Grab a beverage, stay hydrated. My only resolution for 2016 was to move with a sense of purpose. See the bigger picture, not get caught up in the trap that is what I think is adulting. To stand firm in my knowledge of myself up until this point so that I can say yes to the things that I want and hell no to the things that I don't want and can't nobody make me feel bad. Y'all know that I go ghost on YouTube, all right? I be here and then I don't be here, all right? But the truth of the matter is it's not my job to make you videos, but it's my desire. And like a lot of desires we have, sometimes the desire cuts off and I desire to go eat tacos. You know what I'm saying? I desire to have friends. But for the past couple years, I always come back to participate in VEDA, vlog every day in April. It's also August, but that's my birth month. So y'all really not gonna catch me in, in the interwebs while I'm celebrating my birth, okay? So a few days before VEDA started in April, I literally sat down and wrote out everything I wanted to get out of VEDA in 2016. What content could I make on this platform that would make me happy, make y'all happy as viewers, and make me better at stuff, whether it's being a humorist, being an entertainer, being a writer, a commentator, you know what I'm saying, an editor, okay? All those things, I am all the things. For those 30 days, I did not do anything else but make videos. Some of y'all have just finished Vlogmas. Some of y'all struggled through Vlogmas, didn't finish. Y'all know how hard it is. So for all of April, I did not go anywhere. I did not do anything. I did not see anybody. All I did was come home after work and then the like five hours before midnight, I had to write, film, edit, publish, but I had a vision, you know what I'm saying? There was something that I wanted to achieve within myself, okay, inside myself, because I am a self-motivated type person and y'all enjoying the content is just like the icing on the honey bun, you know what I'm saying? But I, I can only give myself the honey bun. Can't nobody give me honey buns. The day I went to my friend David's house to watch Lemonade premiere on HBO, I felt so guilty. I was out here living my magical black life watching television instead of filming that night's video. Because I started VEDA with intention, because I knew what I was doing and I was working towards it, I knew, I know it sounds weird, I knew Beyonce would see the video. Because the world is not that big. It's really not that big. We inhabit the same world, in fact, do we not? And I feel like the degrees of separation are such that, with the internet being as it may. <laughs> so when y'all started sharing that video and sharing it and sharing it, and I noticed it was starting to go beyond my crevice of the internet and beyond internet cousins, you know what I'm saying? I was like, bet. But that's where my vision stopped. That's like as high as I thought it could be, that it would, that the video would just enter 
you know what I'm saying, her iris, what is the iris pupil, that it would just enter, bounce off the back, you know what I'm saying, into her brain. That's as high as I thought. Never in my wildest reading rainbow ass imagination would I ever have thought. <laughs> was the highlight of my 2016. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like what else can I do? The meetings and phone calls and conversations and collaborations and opportunities that came out of that experience in 2016 and where it's going to take me in 2017. <laughs> I think it was 2014 or 2015's video that I said that I wanted to get um, an international trip sponsored. And I was like, ooh, I didn't do it. Uh, but this year I was given the opportunity to go to Costa Rica, to go to Thailand. I brought an internet cousin to Thailand with me. I even went on my first cruise. I paid for that one though. One of my other visions for myself in 2016 was to see what it would be like to not do this whole YouTube thing by myself. Right now I'm in my living room. I asked my brother before he left Austin to like focus the camera for me and I have not moved the camera since yesterday. I got two uh, just hot, dim, really not made for video living room lamps. I wanted to see what it'd be like to be a little bit more official, you know what I'm saying? And so Make It Work reached out to me and we were able to collaborate on a video about a topic I really care about. Um, YouTube invited me to YouTube Space LA to film with YouTube. On another occasion, I was in LA for work, but I made time to swing through Blavity and I was able to like, slide in there for a little cameo appearance, for a video appearance, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Blavity. I was part of a Twitter chat with PBS and a live stream with Al Jazeera English because of my um, Colin Black video. I wrote a couple humor pieces for Man Repeller. I talked to so many of you um, on your podcasts. The Prince of Wakanda knows who I am and I turned 26. Wasn't supposed to make you past 25. Jokes on you, still alive. Having a vision over my life in 2016 even extended to things like, no, I will not watch or feel the need to react to or feel pressured to publicly comment on every instance of police brutality. No, I will not go to your march. I will not co-sign your organization, share your Facebook post, retweet your tweet, because I don't too much know you and your politics, all right, and what you stand for, who you are. All right, who is you? And I still need to wake up in the morning and not want to jump off a building. So peace, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to Chipotle. Knowing who I am now made it so much easier to say yes and to say no, especially no. No! In 2016, I changed positions at work. In 2016, I was able to value myself more and be more confident in my skills, you know what I'm saying, in my eye, you know what I mean? I got the juice, I got somewhat of a juice, you know what I'm saying, not from concentrate, I feel like. I also think I was better at uh, just staying quiet, knowing when to be quiet, you know what I'm saying? Just being a cut, you know what I'm saying, with a gangster lean, all right? And just let things fail because what's not in my vision is making up for other people's incompetencies. You know what I'm saying? That's not what I see in my mind's eye when I open my mind's eye. And I don't let people pressure me as much or make me feel bad about still living in Austin or having a day job, not doing YouTube full time, um, not pubbing their stuff on my platform. I don't get me, myself personally, I am proud of my 2016. You can stay mad. You can stay hunkered down in your feelings all up and through the day. I wasn't being aggressive to you. I was just to, to you know what I'm saying, shake the devil, you know what I'm saying? Not you, just to shake the devil, shake. And now it's your turn. You know the drill. In the comments below, I wanna see paragraphs, okay? 
Uh, how was your 2016? Not the world, you know what I'm saying? We was all there, we know. Uh, I wanna know how you did. You all have made my 2016. If it wasn't for y'all and the comments that be popping like on a consistent basis. I don't know if y'all know, the conversations I be having, everyone notices how fire my comment section is. That's you! Y'all are amazing. I don't wanna gash y'all up too much, you know what I'm saying? Get a big head or whatever. Um, but please leave me a comment. I look forward to reading how your year went. And uh, if you're not sick of me by now, click the annotation floating in the atmosphere to see my goals for 2017. And I will see you on the internet somewhere. Bye!